What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here. Today we are back with more tech, more reviews. And this time we're looking at a brand new mouse that I just picked up from the company SwiftPoint. This is the PadPoint wireless mouse, one of the smallest mice I've seen to date. So let's check this thing out. So this is the actual pad point. This is a wireless Bluetooth mouse that is going to work with your iOS devices as well as Android and Windows. But specifically, we're gonna be focusing on the usage of this with the iPad 2020. This is the 12.9 that I have right here. So in the box, this is actually what you get. You get this hard shell uh, and it just comes with a zipper. And when you unzip it, voila, there you go. You get the mouse and you actually get the USB connector that connects to it and allows you to charge it. And we'll talk about that a little while later. But actually taking this out of the packaging, just take it out like that, like so. And you can also pick up a mouse pad from them. Very slim, streamlined mouse pad. Comes in black and gray. Uh, nice pattern on there. Very sturdy, very durable. I've been using this for a while and I really appreciate the craftsmanship of this mouse pad. Like I said, it's very small. You can take this just about anywhere, put it down in any bag, it goes with you. Now, looking at the actual mouse itself, form factor is extremely small, guys. Putting it right here in the palm of my hand, you can actually see how small this thing is compared to my hand. Uh, like I said, one of the smallest devices, but it actually leaves a big footprint behind. You get the pad point logo right there. Nice ergonomic grip right there for your thumb, just lay down in there. This is actually your left click and this is your right click and these can be remapped. Left click, right click, you get an LED light up here, let you know your connection status. You get a control wheel right here. Let's see if you can hear that. Nice fluid movement on that control. We'll show you that in just a moment. And this is where your other finger will lay and sit as you use this device. Flipping over to the bottom. Now this is where the magic happens because if you need to charge this device, you're gonna take this USB connector right here, which is magnetic. It pops right on. And then you plug this into your power source. Then you have your own off switch right here and your infrared sensor right there. Nice padding on the bottom so you're not gonna hurt anything down here. But this is a very unique device. Now, since I've told you about the actual mouse itself and how it's going to work, how it's charging. Let's get over to some practical use and see how this looks on your iPad setup. So let's face it, not everyone's running out to buy that magic keyboard. Some people are going to get the keyboard folio, which has no trackpad. Some people are not gonna buy either of these cases at all. You're just gonna use a standard Bluetooth keyboard and a mouse, which I have mouse combos here. I have different mice, but for the person who actually wants to add a little flair to their setup, this is what you're going to use. Now I mentioned that you can actually just charge this thing up on the go. So if you got a power brick, like I have the Zender X5 right here, it's a 15,000 milliamp hour um, PD charger, but basically you just plug it into a power device, LED starts to light up, and you are in the house. It's gonna charge up. This one is already fully charged, but what I really wanna show you guys is the actual usage and the app for this. So I'm gonna move this over to the side just a little bit. Bring the iPad to the center. Now, everything's still fluid. If you want to use any gestures, this has built-in gestures. All you do is tilt this up on its side and you can scroll through any screen. Now, it is a little wonky sometimes, you see how that happens, and if I scroll a little bit too far, it does that, but it brings them right back. Now, where this thing actually shines is, it actually has the right click as well as the left click. Now, in order to use that left click to bring up this, you have to turn on your assistive touch, which I know a lot of people don't really wanna do that, but that's what you have to do if you really wanna use that. And this thing is actually really great for different scrolling. So we're going to actually go into Safari and this is their website and they actually have remote desktop apps that you can check out and the control wheel will actually just navigate your page going down, bringing it back up. And I'm just showing you that I'm using this right here, down and up, down and up. So it's a nice fluid motion, gets the job done. And if you want to scroll, 
you can actually tilt it on the side and still drag it, pull it, do whatever you need to do. And it's gonna get you exactly what you need. Set that right click up and you're good to go. Then once you download the actual app, you come in here and you get remote desktop apps. It tells you which ones and we just went through that as well as you get mouse settings. Now you can actually use the built-in settings from the Apple device itself or you can come in here and customize the tracking speed, the scrolling speed and the scroll direction. And then PadPoint actually adds another layer over here where you can actually see the mouse, see how much power you have, check your battery percentage, everything like that. Click out of that and that will forget your mouse. We don't wanna do that. We just wanna go back to the home screen. So if you come down here, click on there, everything still works well. Um, other than this is a little too fast at times but i don't blame any of this on their actual software as you guys know i've done tons of reviews from um third-party mice and third-party devices and all of them kind of act this way and hopefully apple will put out an update very shortly that is going to correct these issues because i think this is a great little device to have uh fits in your pocket fits in any bag goes pretty much anywhere uh, but it, and it really works pretty well. It's nice and convenient. You're able to use this thing in just about any application that you want to use it in. Uh, it works in your calendar. It actually works on your maps. It works in YouTube and many other apps. So it's a great little investment. Now I will tell you that this thing is going to run you about 140 bucks. Uh, but it's a very clean device, well built. I'm not sure if it's worth the $140 price point, but it, it performs well, it does good, and I could see myself using this on a daily basis. And if you actually use the link below, you can get up to about 20 bucks off of this device. So I'll drop that link below so you can check this thing out for yourself. Hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me a big thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.